Now, fellow citizens, allow me now to deal with the state of the nation. I'm speaking to you when the nation is experiencing murmurings and mumblings about the state of affairs in the nation. It has been 15 months since the UPND formed government. Some claim nothing has changed in their lives since the coming of the new government. Some even go further to state that it has in fact gotten worse. But this is not new. Allow me to recollect from recent history. But before I do, let me state generally from what we see from where we stand. We are comfortable that our colleagues led by President Haka Inde Ichilema and his government have their compass, compass pointing in the right direction. When I was a cadet in the military, we were familiarized with the use of the compass. And there is a place which we call the true north. It, the compass always points to the true north. And we can say that our colleagues have got their compass pointing to the true north. Why? Because we spent 10 years in the, under the leadership of the last regime. We know what we went through. Not just myself, but President Haka India as well. We do understand what we don't want to see happen today. We do know what Zambians need today. So we stand here seeing that our colleagues, in principle, have got their compass on the true north. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Allow me at this point to depart from politics as usual and respond to some of the most outlandish claims from certain quarters that the new administration of President HH has failed to improve the lives of Zambians. I speak as someone who has held a relatively high political position in this country. I'm also leading a former ruling party with a rich history of Zambia's political and economic journey. As you hear me today, you shall understand why we have continued to give support in many areas to our colleagues in government. When I woke up this morning, I was thinking of a soccer game. The World Cup is on right now, so our minds are really full with soccer. But let me take you back to the days of Kalusha Bwalia, because that's the soccer I used to watch the most. And he was given the number, I believe he was given number nine shirt. Am I correct about that? Number nine, in other words, the players used to feed Kalusha with balls so that he could score. There, was, there were times when Debbie Makinka had the ball and he had the clearance to score. But you see him feed it to Kalusha Bwalia because he was strategically positioned and he was known to be a champion in scoring. They didn't want to take any chances. And once Kalusha scored, number nine, even Johnson Walia at the back at number three rejoiced together with everybody else. He didn't score, but the team scored. Yeah. Zambia won. That's what is important in our politics today. Until we get to that point where you say, until Nevers becomes president, I will not support anybody. That kind of football, you will not win because you'll be trying to score from the fullback position when your friend has been positioned at number nine and stands a better chance. His goal is as good as your goal because his goal is Zambia goal. And the politicians of this country must realize that yes, we have got a foreign system of multi-party democracy where we compete with ideas, but it has used, it has been used to dis, to, to, to destroy our efforts to, to score. Today we have our brother, President Haka Inde Ichilema, who is a friend of mine, a colleague of mine. But at the end of the day, the Zambian people chose him to be president. And he's, according to the analogy I gave, he's number nine, playing number nine. And we should not feel intimidated regardless of the political party you belong to. Since the whole team of 11 is Team Zambia, we are all Team Zambia. Yes. We are all Team Zambia. You may be at number three, number four, number five. Right now, number nine is HH. Give him the ball. Don't worry about how they clap for him. That clap is for all of us. We shall all win that game. So beyond our differences, sometimes even hate for one another, there is a nation that needs nurturing. 
If nothing else unites us, let nationhood do so. <laughs>